Local names. Formal parameters of functions have a local scope. Let me show you what that means. Let's imagine we try to do away with this nested definition business and instead just write two different functions. Def f of x, y is going to call a function g on x. g takes some argument and returns that argument a plus y. And now I call f of 1 comma 2. This is going to cause an error. The error says global name y is not defined. Now, what it's really trying to tell you is that in g, meaning while it was trying to evaluate this return expression, it was unable to find any value for the name y. Here's the example. We define f, we define g. We call f, x is bound to 1, y is bound to 2. We call g because we're executing the body of f. Now, in g, a is bound to 1. So we have various bindings for various names and values. And here we see that error. Why is it an error, even though y is right here? Well, it's because this frame is not in the current environment. Here's the code, here's the moment when the error was caused. Here are the frames that I just showed you. The current environment consists of this local frame followed by the global frame. So when we go to look up the name y, we look for it here and it's not found. We look for it there and it's not found. And so we get an error that y is not in the global frame. Error. An environment is a sequence of frames. The environment created by calling a top level function defined here, with no def within def, consists of one local frame followed by the global frame. You cannot refer to this y, which is local to the body of this function, from the body of this function. Now contrast that with what we saw with make adder, where the body of adder could in fact refer to n because it was nested. 